to the fitness world of physical education. Friends, in this lecture, we will be talking about fitness testing. Friends, regular physical activity is one of the most important things you can do for your health. In previous lecture, we have discussed about fitness, its importance, why it is required and types of fitness. Actually, fitness include cardiovascular functioning, which is improved by aerobic activities that get your heart and lungs working faster. It also includes muscle strength, flexibility and balance. It can control your weight, increase chances of life to live longer, improve mental health, improve ability to do daily activities and prevent falls and strengthen the bones and muscles. In this technological age, fitness is required for every human being. In this lecture, we will be talking about the fitness testing how test is performed and why it is required. So, what is fitness testing? Fitness testing is a way of gaining information about the health related and skill related components of an athlete's fitness. Testing can take place in a number of environment with laboratory testing being the most accurate, however, there is still a large range of tests that can be carried out away from a lab which provide a lot of useful information. Reasons for fitness testing To highlight the strength and weakness of an athlete enabling a training program to be devised which addresses the findings. To evaluate a training program to see if it is helping the athlete in achieving set goals. To measure fitness levels following injury, illness or following the off season. To assist in setting goals. To determine health status in the non-supporting population. Talent identification to aid motivation. Test order according to the NSCA National Strength and Conditioning Association a battery of physical fitness tests should occur in the following order non-fatigue testing, height, weight measurement, skin folds, vertical and broad jumps, agility test that includes T-test, Illinois test. Maximum strength and power test, 1RM, 3RM, sprint test, 40-yard sprint, sprint fatigue test, muscular endurance test, 12-minute run, shuttle test. Principles of fitness testing. In order for fitness testing to be accurate and worthwhile, a number of principles must be followed. First is specificity, that is, fitness test must assess an individual fitness for the activity or sport in question. For example, there is little point in using a running endurance test to assess an athlete's improvement in cycling endurance. Second is validity, fitness test must measure the component of fitness that they are supposed to. Third is objectivity, sometimes also known as inter-tester reliability, a test that is objective will produce the same result for the same individual regardless of the tester or technician administrating the test. Fourth is reliability. A reliable test produce the same result if repeated. For example, an assessor trained in skin fold measurement will produce the same result when the same area is retested shortly after. Physical activity also keep you in shape. 
so you can enjoy leisure activities and safely perform work and home codes. It offers great mental and social benefits as well. The Lenkit released a series of studies that attribute positive outcomes to physical activity, including a sense of purpose and value, a better quality of life, improved sleep and reduced stress, as well as stronger relationship and social connectedness. On the other hand, lack of physical activity is associated with increased risk of anxiety, stress and feeling of depression, developing many preventable conditions such as high blood pressure, coronary heart diseases, diabetes, osteoporosis, colon cancer and obesity, dying prematurely. The author of the Lanket studies even suggested that the sedentary lifestyle so common in our culture is more deadly than smoking. They believe that 6 to 10 percent of world's non-communicable diseases such as heart disease, diabetes and certain kind of cancer are caused by physical inactivity. Let us see the factors which may affect fitness tests. Fitness tests are subject to a large number of internal and external variables which may affect the outcome of the test. When performing a repeat test, it is important to try to limit as many variables as possible by ensuring the condition, circumstances are exactly the same as during the previous test. Time of the day, weather conditions, environment which includes surface, noise, presence of other people, a different assessor, accuracy of measurements, test protocol not followed exactly as before time since the athlete's last meal, athlete's emotion, athlete's state of hydration, athlete's health, recent cold illness, medication the athlete may be taking. 5. Most popular physical fitness test to best determine whether you are at the peak of your physical health you can use different type of physical fitness test. Different test check for various aspects of physical well-being. There are tests that focus on causing your strength, stamina, flexibility and more. Test can focus on one particular physical trait, a combination of two or several and even your overall physical fitness. If you are interested in finding out how you fare against standard measures, here are five of the most popular and commonly used physical fitness tests. First is the Bruce test, designed to evaluate cardiovascular performance. The Bruce test was designed as a clinical treadmill stress test. The purpose was to diagnose the patient with suspected heart disease and the result would point to possible coronary problems. Today, this physical fitness test is also used to measure VO2 max or maximum oxygen intake. Among athletes, you begin on the treadmill at a manageable pace and incline. At certain intervals, both incline and treadmill speed increases until your threshold is reached. Second is Elenius Agility, also called the Elenius Agility Run. This physical fitness test was designed to determine agility. The running course is composed of cones lined up and a set running track that crisscrosses around the cones. 
this determine your capability to quickly turn in other directions while running at a high speed third is harvard step test also a test for cardiovascular function this test can easy be administered at home all you need is 12 inches high bench or a box to stand on and a stopwatch for 3 minutes simply step up and down the platform at a steady pace then time how long it takes for your heart rate to normalize the shorter the interval the better your cardiovascular condition is this physical fitness test is also known as the cardiac stress test or cardiovascular endurance test fourth is beep test this test is commonly known as the bleep test or shuttle run some also refer to it as the pacer test or 20 meter shuttle front test to start this test cones are placed 20 meters apart from each other you then run to and from each cone according to recorded beeps or bleeps a specialized bleep test cd may be required for this this interval between bleeps get shorter thus requiring you to run faster this physical fitness test is used to measure vo2 max it's also an indication of your endurance and aerobic energy fifth is vertical jump this is another test that you can do at home with very minimal requirements this is used to determine leg muscle strength it is sometimes called the vertical leap or the sergeant jump named after american physical education pioneer judley sergeant to perform the test you attempt to reach the highest point on a wall of jumping now next we will be talking about types of fitness test fitness test can be devised to test all aspects of fitness providing the test follows fitness testing principles the following are examples of simple fitness test which can easily be reproduced away from a lab and measure strength power anaerobic endurance local muscular endurance aerobic endurance flexibility balance reaction time and body composition strength one rep max the heaviest weight you can lift for a single repetition on a given exercise often abbreviated to 1 rm 10 rep max can also be used ensure you are fully warmed up prior to attempting to lift your esteemed 1 rm if you feel you could have lifted more do not attempt to do so on the same day as your muscles will be fatigued and so reduces the flexibility of the test speed 30 meter sprint accreditation must be eliminated and so a flying start of 20 minute is recommended record the time between meters 20 and 50 power vertical jump test standing sideways on to a wall with the arms raised above you mark the highest point you can reach still standing sideways jump as high as you can marking the point you can reach your score is the difference between your standing and jumping score this test measures the power in your leg muscles standing long jump stand behind a starting line jump from two feet and land on two feet as far as possible you may use your arms to aid you local muscular endurance press up test perform as many press ups as you can without rest this test 
measures the endurance of your upper body muscles. Setup test. As above, repeated as many setups as possible without rest. Make sure you define before hand what counts as a setup. This process of fatiguing a muscle or muscle group to measure its endurance can be repeated with any body part. Anaerobic endurance that is RAST test that is running based anaerobic sprint test following a 10 minute warm up 6 into 35 m sprints are performed with 10 seconds in between for rest and turnaround. Each sprint time is recorded. Following tests are expected to produce faster times for each of the sprints. Cunningham and Falconer test. Following a warm up, set the treadmill at 8 miles per hour and a 20% gradient. The athlete must start standing either side of the belt and begin the test by getting on the belt at full speed. The test is stopped when the athlete cannot continue. Aerobic endurance, copper run, following a 10 minute warm up, run as far as you can in 12 minutes. Record the distance travelled to the closest 100 minutes. Multi-stage fitness test that is bleep test. For this test, you need a bleep test tape or CD which has recorded bleeps at a predetermined intervals. The participant must run between 20 M markers in time and with the tape. The bleep get faster as the tape progresses and is divided into stages to help monitor your progress at subsequent test. The test finishes when you can no longer reach the end marker before the bleep. Flexibility Sit and reach test To assess the flexibility of the hamstrings, you will need either a special sit and reach table or a bench and ruler tape measure start with your feet flat against the table and your knees straight reach your arms as high as possible above your head and then lead forwards to reach as far along the bench table as possible the further point your fingertips reaches your score a specialist table has an overhang of 15 cm and so if using a bench and a ruler. A score of 10 cm equals 25 cm. Calf flexibility test. Stand facing a wall and bend the knees to touch the wall whilst keeping the heels flat on the floor. Keep moving back. To find the furthest distance away from the wall where you can still touch the wall with your knees. Measure the distance from the wall to the heel. Balance. Wobble board. Using a wobble board or cushion, balance for as long as possible. Tests can be conducted on one leg or both as long as subsequent tests are the same. Stoke test. Stand on one leg with the free foot positioned just below the standing knee. Raise the heel of the standing foot and hold for as long as possible. Reaction time. Ruler drop. Use a meter ruler. Get a friend to hold the ruler so that the OCM line is level with and in between your open index finger and thumb. The friend drops the ruler and you must catch it as soon as possible between your finger and thumb. Mark on the ruler 
closest to the top of the thumb is your score. The faster your reaction, the lesser of the ruler will pass through. Body composition, skin fold calipers. These can be used to determine the percentage of body fat an athlete has. It includes taking four or sometimes six measurements from the biceps, triceps, supraleg, just above the pelvis bone on the back and subscapular just below the shoulder blade. These four measurements can then be calculated to give an estimate of the total percentage body fat. Bioelectrical impedance analysis A far more accurate method of measuring body fat percentage. Two electrodes are placed on a hand and the foot on the same side within the subject laying down. A safe electrical current is passed through the body. The speed of the current in moving from hand electrodes to the foot determines body fat percentage as fat is an insulator and slows down the movement of the current. So, here we conclude. In conclusion, the regular physical activity will help you to decrease your risk of disease, feel better physically and mentally, look better, help avoid injuries, keep doing activities you enjoy throughout your life. Physical activity is essential to prevent and reduce the risk of many diseases and improve physical and mental health. It can even help you live longer. Research from the American Journal of Preventive Medicine indicates that regular exercise can add up to 5 years to your life. Exercise is undoubtedly beneficial. It is not true that the more exercise you do or the harder you work, the body, the better the results. Too much physical activity can lead to injury. It is essential to maintain a balance between working out and the muscles without overdoing it. Know that your body gets stronger during rest and recovery. Thank you. Have a nice day.